In this video, I will show you how Zebex can scan your network and discover new hosts automatically. This is a very nice feature that saves you lots of time. Let's go to Configuration, Discovery. You see that there is already a default rule called Local Network. Let's create a new discovery rule. I call it My Network. And I specify the IP range of My Network. The delay tells Zabbix how often the network should be scanned. 3600, which means one hour, is a good value for production. I'm reducing the value to 300 seconds here, because I'm impatient. Don't set the value too low though. Zabbix may fail to scan an entire slash 24 network within one minute, for example. I will add a new check and select ICMP ping. So all the hosts are discovered that can be pinged. I add this check, and I also add a check type of Zabbix agent, and use the key system.uname. This means that this rule tries to ping all the servers, and tries to connect to a Zabbix agent, and ask the agent for the system.uname key. The device uniqueness criteria helps Zabbix determine whether it has already found a host, or whether it's a new system. It is usually recommended to use the IP address here. I save this rule, and after a few minutes, Zabbix should discover all the new hosts in my network. You can either go to Monitoring Dashboard and take a look at the discovery status down here. So far, we see that no hosts have been discovered, or you can go to Monitoring Discovery and see a list of hosts here. After a few minutes, Zabbix shows all the hosts it has found on our local network. All of these computers responded to ping requests, and one computer I have set up for test purposes also responds to the Zabbix agent request. But when you go to Configuration and Hosts, you see that these hosts have not yet been added to the host list. The reason is that Zabbix just generates events when it finds a new system. It does not add hosts automatically. To do that, you have to go to Configuration, Actions, and add a new action. But this time, we are not creating an action for triggers, just as we did formerly, but we go to Discovery here, and we see the Discovery Actions. There is one Discovery Action already configured. It is just disabled. Let's enable it. Let's take a closer look at this action. It has three conditions and two operations. The conditions tell Zabbix that only if these conditions are met, the operations are run. The receive value like Linux refers to the system uname string from the discovery rule. Let's take a quick look. Configuration, discovery. As you remember, we configured two checks in the discovery rule. One was the ICMP ping, and the second was the Zebex agent key called system.uname. This is what is referred to as received value. The second condition is the discovery status. Only if a new system was discovered and it is running, then this condition is met. And the third condition is the service type must be Zabbix agent. So only hosts are added that run a Zabbix agent. If these conditions are met, the new server is added to the host group Linux servers and it automatically gets the template OS Linux template assigned. You can also configure the conditions and operations by editing this action. When you go back to the view Monitoring Discovery, you see that one of the hosts is now known by name. This is the host that has been discovered and has been assigned a template and a proper host group. When we go to Configuration and Hosts, we see that the host has been discovered and has two groups assigned, the discovered host, which is assigned automatically, and the Linux servers. Another way to add hosts is the automatic registration of Zabbix agents. It makes the Zabbix server add hosts automatically that have a running Zabbix agent that tries to communicate with the Zabbix server. And I would also recommend adding a rule for removing lost servers. If there are servers that have been retired, they will not get removed automatically. These topics are covered in the Zabbix documentation. That concludes this video. You have learned how to set up a network discovery rule and generate discovery events. You have seen how to create actions that create new host definitions from such events.
and you have leveraged the system.uname key from the Zebex agent to assign a host to the proper host group automatically.